this is team derma help our problem statement is sih1344 it is regarding ai based tool for preliminary diagnosis of dermatological manifestations i am the team leader hardik sharma and we are third year undergrads from btech vit bhopal university our problem statement is already visible on our, on our screen now selecting the problem statement regarding skin diseases was motivated by a multitude of critical factors one of them was that skin diseases can lead to severe systemic illnesses like hiv and neglected tropical diseases neglected skin conditions can serve as entry points for other infections as well so by focusing on skin diseases there is an opportunity to address broader health issues the development of ai approaches is also very necessary to improve the diagnostic precision for a variety of skin conditions and to close the shortage of dermatological practitioners in certain parts of the country now we will move further with the our solution so now let's take a look at our solution our solution is dermahair which is a cross platform application designed to aid in the examination and detection of dermatological diseases it empowers users to capture skin images of the affected area which are then analyzed by a deep learning model and promptly uh, the skin condition is detected our tool is of extreme efficiency and has very high accuracy and provides treatment options and subsequent steps to be taken this solution has the potential to significantly enhance the access to dermatological care in cities which are underserved and are resource poor it is important to consider that this is a medical aid and not a substitute for doctors it should be used by trained medical professionals such as nurses and frontline workers as a guide and not taken verbatim now let's take a look at the process flow diagram so this is the process flow chart so first of all when the user opens the application for the first time he gets prompted with the authentication system the user starts the app for the first time if the user has login credentials then he can simply enter the password and the id and the credentials are logged in then in two factor authentication or you can also call otp will be called and successfully it will be logged in and it will move to dashboard but you can also sign up and fill the sign up form which contains this kinds of email information and then that information is stored to our database and that's how the things work so moving on to the dashboard so we have a floating action button from which the user can access the history of past patients medical records or he can add totally new patient details if the user chooses this option then we move to this page a new patient's profile can be created image can be uploaded then image can be clicked live camera or can be uploaded from the gallery then the image goes to a model as nitesh has already mentioned it classifies the disease and identifies it then when the disease is successfully identified the open api api which we can also call chat gpt api takes over and the user can chat with the chatbot regarding any discussions or he needs to clarify now the history works as follows we take the name of the patient the name of the disease age and the treatment type as a record and we store this data on our database on firebase the top nav bar contains of handy features where the doctor can change their profile details and the light theme and dark theme kind of thing for the user experience purpose so the most important part of our application is the back end deep learning model this is a visual representation of how the model works we have used a very famous technology called convolution neural networks to build a deep learning model it goes through all these layers and it successfully gives us with the output result this flow chart will be more understandable to you when we will take you to the prototype part of the ui ux which will be discussed in the further part of this presentation now paras who will explain the ui of this application so this is our ui of the app as you can see we have this dashboard here we can see the photo and name of doctor and there is a setting button where the user can change the like more and darker than other stuffs here is the menu which shows how much images are searched and uh, what category is explored and uh, here are categories which shows hands body face and other types of skin diseases and we can also see the recent searches of our skin diseases we have also added a floating action button uh, then which we will go to the patient register details here it will show patient name we can fill up this form and click on submit we also have options here to upload a image from gallery or take a picture or see our recent history uh, here in gallery uh, we can select the picture from our gallery and uh, when we select picture it will be given to the chat menu here our backend will chat give us information in a chat form and also then it will be taken over by the 
chat gpt ai so we can chat with it and discuss uh, about symptoms and all the keyword of or we what remedies we can use and this is the page of where how the camera you have is so let me show you a prototype here we take a picture and this is where we can chat this is our landing page we click on the floating button we can add details or click on picture now i'd like suraj to take over the presentation so now let's have a look at some general use cases of our app the first one being remote diagnosis and consultation followed by skin cancer detection to our model then comes follow up and monitoring health awareness research and community health workers coming on to dependencies there aren't much the first one being smartphone can be anything like android or ios and internet connections now let's have a look at business potential now we will talk about derma health's business potential we have thought about two to three ways through which derma health can generate revenue first subscription model telemedicine services pharmaceutical partnerships data insights education and training derma health ha- also has a bunch of salient features as follows first it is highly scalable derma health's use of mainstream technologies with minimal maintenance costs makes it easily scalable as the user base grows the platform can accommodate increased demand without significant infrastructure changes significant impact with the potential to assist millions of people who lack access to dermatological care derma health addresses a critical global health issue it can significantly improve the lives of individuals by providing timely and accurate assistance advanced deep learning remote diagnosis and consultation as early detection is crucial for effective treatment thank you anshika that gave us a really good insight of what our application's main features are so these are our team members now i'd like to conclude the presentation here thank you